Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to explore blind spots and how people may have a false sense of resilience. An individual may have the impression that he is resilient because he perceives himself to be more inclined to self-control. But SQI's personality reports may review a person to be more emotion-able, which is the other end of the blindness and urine spectrum. A person is considered resilient if his inclination for these traits fall within the optimal range. An SQI is able to identify the reason one sees himself falsely as having self-control, but that is due to other inclinations. So during the COVID-19 outbreak, a person may appear calm and collected, but it does not necessarily show self-control. He appears controlled because of his consciousness and is inclined to maintain his own steady pace. Therefore, a person with low resilience may also appear to behave in the same way. But the psychological traits motivating the person is different. The takeaway from this subtle but important differences are twofold. One, it shows the need for accurate diagnosis to ensure that people who need to manage their traits are aware of that so that they can take timely action. Two, it shows that our traits are not fixed like our blood types and they can be managed. For individuals whose trait scores are outside of the optimal range, we will look at how we can help you build resilience. In this time of crisis, let us reflect and genuinely ask ourselves how we have responded. While many of us know the right way to respond, here we often find it challenging to practice in the moment of truth. Therefore, we need to consciously shift our attention to focus on what is the right thing to do that is within our control rather than who is right. It may mean for instance having to step aside momentarily from the situation at hand and reflect how our current feelings may be helping or hindering us. Take note that this is a mentally stretching process but not one that changes our personality entirely. Nonetheless, be careful not to over-moderate and numb our feelings when we might begin to tolerate rudeness or ineffectiveness. For those of us who are fortunate enough to keep our jobs currently, we may often find ourselves having to work harder to make adjustments to the new normal for an indefinite period of time. Well, what is our emotional response? Each time we think of giving up, think of the missed opportunities and if the results are what we desire. If we don't take the shot and give up now, we will lose 100% and waste all past time and effort spent. Therefore, choose to persist without giving up too early in challenging work situations. It may mean having the discipline to remind ourselves of our goals daily and finding different ways to motivate ourselves toward reasonable milestones that we can set at the start. Be careful not to over-moderate lest we may become stubborn or overly absorbed. Managing our personality traits is a journey with daily milestones. Let us be insightful of our own personalities and grow to be more resilient in times like this.